Please, Timmy. Cafeteria police, drop the PB&J. Hands up and back away. Slowly, Timmy. No quick movements. Keep your hands where I can see it, Timmy. That will be the refrain you will hear more and more in the immediate future because the fascist states of America is now hitting the lunchroom. A state inspector, and first, I don't even know what the hell that means, but an inspector told a four-year-old kid in Rayford, North Carolina elementary school lunchroom that her lunch from home, her lunch her mother prepared, a turkey and cheese sandwich, banana, potato chips, and apple juice did not meet the U.S. Department of Agriculture guidelines. So the lunch was tossed, and instead the child was given cafeteria U.S.-approved chicken nuggets, the gold standard of nutrition. Now, do you see the implications here? Now we have federalized lunchbox agents searching and rummaging through lunchboxes like a new mutant form of the TSA. Oh, but wait, it gets better. The substitute food that the lunchroom stormtroopers agree is acceptable is added to the parent's bill. She has to pay for these magical chicken nuggets, and too bad if she can't, which is why many parents send a prepared lunch in the first place. Now, there are some I know who are watching who will email me stating that childhood obesity is on the rise and nutrition is vital, and you will have missed yet again the entire point of my story. The government is everywhere, and unless you've been paying attention, you missed the latest from your government's incarnation of the Gambino crime family, Big Agra, and the food police. One day, gone will be roadside fruit and vegetable stands, farmers markets, locavores, whole milk sales, those lovely Amish selling their freshly crafted cheeses and dairy products. GMOs will invade our food system, but that's a different issue which the Ted Baxter sock puppet media have not a clue about, nor does it care. And it's on strict orders not to even go there. But this. This is yet again your fascist government now going after your unmitigated hubris and thinking you can control what your kids eat. The same government that demands that you blast your kids with multiple vaccine series. The same folks who love Gardasil. But this is about autonomy and control and your natural ability to determine what's best for your kids. The government wants complete and total control over everything. Everything you do and think and say and your kids are in its bullseye. I've got more on this, so stay tuned. All right, Timmy, comment as you see fit.